Welcome into Raiders game day. The Raiders end with a bang, a 27-14 win over a divisional opponent, the Broncos. I'm Amber Theo Harris, along with James Jones and Eric Allen. And yes, they didn't make the playoffs. Yes, it was a losing season at 8-9. and nine. But I'll tell you, we have the feeling mm. as if they just ran out of time. I wanted to see this team mm. do a little bit more. But under Antonio Pierce, they are a winning team. They are 5-4, and four, and that is something to build on. EA, I know you were looking in this game particularly for yeah, growth. Yeah, definitely. Whenever you can beat the Broncos, this is eighth time in a row you've beaten the Broncos. Whenever you can beat that football team, it means something special. Obviously, when this coaching staff for the Broncos comes in, they want their team, their season, to end it on a, fin on a, on a good note. Mm -hmm. It's great to see this football team come out, play defense, and then I love offensively coming out, taking shots, mm -hmm. running the football, really dominating the Denver Broncos today. Yeah, this was impressive to watch. Number one is how Antonio Pierce rallied these boys. Yeah. Yeah. Had them come out here and play with energy. Because I've been in games like this. We ain't in the playoffs. <laughs> Listen here, coach. Uh, uh, I ain't trying uh, to get hurt. Uh, uh, I ain't trying to go <laughs> up out here, you know, <laughs> on a deal what I'm going to do up to the Pro Bowl, all the stuff, whatever it may be. I'm not But for Devontae. For Max, the leaders, to yeah, go out here yeah. and set the tone, the way they set the tone, I mean, that was big time. And like I like I said, you're going to hear from Max later, man. Just the energy and the passion that this group played with the last six, seven weeks under Antonio Pierce. That's why we're saying just ran out of time, because we want to continue to see, we this yeah, we do. We the do. way they was playing yeah. under Antonio Pierce, which is big time. All right, we're going to cover it all for you. Three big things we'll talk about in this show. One is Zamir White stepping in for Josh Jacobs for a third game. The guy had 112 Zeus. yards. We'll talk about the impact he had not only for this game but for next year also the Raiders defense continues to Ooh. dominate again they give up just 14 points Ball. in this win will break down where they are nationally and Antonio Look Pierce leaves as a winning yeah. interim coach at five and four celebrating with the team he grew up loving the Las Vegas Raiders. Look at the fans. Man, I'm telling you. What a moment for him. All right, let's get into the highlights, though. Antonio Pierce is chopping it up with some old buddies, but he's happy for him in this league. Players coming out, led by Mad Max Crosby. They definitely had something to fight for. You had that feeling. And early on, Zamir White on oh, second and six gets it going. It. 12 Slashing. yards. Powerful. One cut, get downhill. Very next play, you know what? He doesn't just run the ball. Why not pass it to him out of the backfield? Man, Bam. Look, huh? Get, get on by my bench. That's big passing. time right there, right? You can check this football down for one yard and pick up nine. Mm -hmm. Raiders on uh, third down. Aiden O'Connell, Trey Tucker, Love 10 yards. There Love you go, first Trey. down. Rookie to rookie. Oh, oh. We have the little it special didn't work here. out. Didn't this work. was supposed to be a trick play. But you know what? When it doesn't work yeah, out, just is, get in the end zone. Oh, this is just how you draw it up. <laughs> Ain't nobody open. Do you. Be you. And that's why we got the ball in your hand. I, I don't like Devontae. I don't like nobody. Let me go do me. And then this is the best part about it right here. The planter's peanut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put in the ground. Plant it. it. And so the Raiders lead 7-0 early in the game. On the Broncos following drive, second and seven, Jared Stenham, the old Raider, passes yep. to Brandon Johnson, 36 yards, and they are into Las Vegas territory. That was a good play right there. Yeah, that's a yeah. nice little game. That's a nice ball right there by Jared. Brandon Stenham. Johnson had a good game. Javante Williams uh, oh, hurts down. the Raiders a little bit here. 12 yards, first down. Two plays later in the second quarter, now second and eight. Jared Stenham to Javante Williams again for nine yards. And the Broncos are working their way into the red zone, but Max Crosby said, I don't like you in here. Yeah. Now get back out that red zone. That's yeah. how we do it. He sacks him for a 12 he yard was, he, loss. He was giving 73 fits. Yeah, 73 stood no chance. And yeah. He, he mad at the quarterback. Look, he <laughs> run, scramble. Uh, somersault, uh, somersault. 14 and a half sacks, by the way. That is a career high to end the season for him. So congratulations to Max Crosby. Very next play, second and 20 seconds. Oh, yeah. We, that really was a long one. It's a big time play. You though. can't give that up, though, yeah. on no. second and 20 yeah. seconds. Second, 22. You can, but that's a big time play by Jerry Judy, making people miss, tough tackle. And so is Devontae Adams mm -hmm. right here. This is what I love. I think this should be a big part of the offense. Dump it down to these playmakers and let them make plays with the ball in their hands. That's a negative one yard pass turned into 15, 17 good yards by Devontae Adams. Love the creativity. You're going first and 10 guys. to the rookie Trey Tucker, who's mm -hmm. been coming alive for 10 yards there in a first down. Got to respect that speed. Yep. Raiders third and six, and Aiden O'Connell is sacked in, in a fumble originally, we believed it was, but then the play is reviewed and oh, yeah. reversed. It is called an incomplete pass. Yeah, it looks like a pass. Yeah, arm coming forward. Long he tried to ago. grip it. 
Ball came out. Yeah, that's no fumble. That's right that there. whole tuck pass yeah. thing hey, that hey, we're still. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tom Brady. Uh, Daniel Carlson, 49-yard field goal makes it 10-7. Carlson, Raiders. money. Raiders turn up the pressure Ooh. on Denver's and Sue. Hey, hey, there, there we go. go. Rookie, he ends the season with three and a half sacks as Tyree Wilson takes Stidham to the ground for a one-yard loss. A few plays later on third and two, Isaiah Polamau. Yeah. Like to see him getting in as well. Another yeah. sack, loss of seven yards would in the drive force the Broncos to punt. I'm telling Raiders, you. this is what you like to see. Oh, two ground. minute we'll drive there. here. Two minute drives. Amir yeah. White yeah. rushes yes. to the middle for 25 yards. All right, now we got 45 seconds yep. left. What are you going to do, so, Aiden O'Connell? That was a dime right there, I'm just going to throw God. a bomb. 47 Amazing. yards yeah. to the speedster, Trey Tucker. Got a little, little that up. Yeah. Got you, <laughs> got yeah, you looking at the backfield. Ground, man, you do know we uh, <laughs> taking a shot. That'll hurt your pride. Yeah. That'll really hurt your pride. And big time back. players. 11 seconds and left. Big no time time outs. games <laughs> make big time <laughs> plays. Look. Really, really easy. That's and Devontae, Devontae Adams, Adams right for the touchdown. Yeah, and the Raiders lead 17-7 yeah, going into the half. A minute 36, they went 98 yards. Oh, and you know it was really grooving good. at Allegiant. Boom, 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 boom. Did I say that right? 95 seconds left. Meet you at the crossroads, bro. It's the first bro. of the month. You so so you don't don't be lonely. Lonely. <laughs> All right, third quarter, 17-7 Raiders. We all sing a five different <laughs> Jack Jones! Oh, we almost yeah. had that one. Ooh. Man, he's been an addition to this Another team. heads up play, because that's not his area. He's yeah. all the way on the other hash, folks. He plays left cornerback. Yeah. I like I know, this guy. I know we got some questions coming up in the offseason, but 18 got his back. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's locked down. He's back. Yeah. Right over there on that corner. All right, fourth and three, and no good. Yeah, seat belts. No good. Here we go with the Raiders on the Way next drive. Slide in the pocket. This might have been Kobe his best Myers. play of the day. Man, that was a like sliding in the pocket, rope. throwing the ball across the field on a rope. That yeah. is a dime oh. pump fake. And then we're going to follow you up play. with this. Uh, Jacoby Myers, another tink tink. That's I'll tell you, a nice drive for Great play design. So everyone's going to go to Devontae, oh, obviously, because of the success you. he's had. And now pinpoint accuracy. Uh -huh. Just like design the plays today. How many touchdowns is that for Jacoby, man? It just seemed like Jacoby lived in the end zone yeah. this year. Brandon Johnson, I know he had Probably some career highs receiver. for sure. Yeah. 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 Three plays yeah. later after that, third and ten, Jared Stidham to Jerry Judy for 47 yards. Jerry Judy was trying to get busy after that catch mm -hmm. today in this ball game, man. Well so done. fourth and goal at the two, and Javante Williams punches it in for the touchdown. The Raiders lead 24 14, so the lead is cut to 10. And the Raiders. Sending all our blitzes on us. Come on now. Third and six, slant. Very, very easy football. Getting the huddle. Devontae slant. I'm coming to you. First down, Raiders. Three plays later, third and eight. Aiden O'Connell again yeah. to Jacoby a -O -A Myers. Was strikes oh. today now. Yeah. Two Get plays later, stats. second and 11. O'Connell to Austin Hooper. Remember, oh, okay. Michael Mayer bit. has been hurt. And he makes it happen. I 21 see you, yards. Who? Gets first down a little more. Catch a five yarder and take it for 21. Just Why not? The Broncos. Why not? All right, so the Raiders look to ice away the game with the field goal. They do it 21 yards out, and it is 27 14, and that would be. All they would get Look in AP. Hello. See, that, hey, that's this is my house. I this saw, house. I saw that Let's 64 go. Chevy yeah. parked in the player and coach's parking lot. Yeah. That is my as greater as it gets. Yeah. Congratulations Lean to him. Lean back, too. Lean as back. As he goes 5-4 and four as the Raiders in interim coach. Too. He was, I bet he's leaning out. back on the way home. Uh, uh, final game stats, stats brought to you by Sports Water. And look, they got a turnover at the end with Trayvon Merrick. That was nice to see. Um, great job rushing. Zamir really? White had 121 of the 129. Look at, those red look at the red zone. Yes. Two for three. Look at the third down. And this team was just exciting to watch defense. all year long. And let's hear what Antonio Pierce had to say about the win. JP, since taking over his interim, <clears throat> you've preached toughness, physicality, and violence. How proud are you of, or how, excuse me, how happy were you with that display today in your final showing as interim? Yeah, that's what we talked about. I've been preaching since day one. Uh, really bought into it the last week of the season when, you know, people are making business decisions that they want to play football for 60 minutes. I think our guys took pride on it. Uh, pride into it. Really proud of our guys that last drive offensively, what they were able to do, um, and then defensively to finish the game. And it, we, all, you know, to be honest, I, I get the pretty stuff and throwing the ball around, but at the end of the day, football is meant to be physical and violent, and hitting one another, and, and that's what we want to be. 
And so you have to give Antonio Pierce credit. He came in in a tough situation on Halloween with a team that was uh, frustrated, and he turned them around into a winning team in his time that he had here, yeah. five and four. And the man said, my resume is on the grass, and I think you have to walk away saying what he left on the grass yeah. Yeah. was impressive. And yeah. we know that the locker room is behind him. They've been very vocal. Devontae Adams came out this week. Uh, we're going to talk to Max Crosby coming up. We're going to hear what he has to say about Antonio Pierce. Um, in your opinion, do you think you saw enough for him to stay head coach of the Raiders? Well, I tell you what, when you when you go to a concert and you have multiple acts there yeah. at the concert, yeah. you don't want to follow the guy who's hot. Ooh. You don't want to follow the guy who really creates energy mm -hmm. for the, the fans. And that's exactly what he's done. I think, and I've said this all along, is he's uniquely qualified for this job because of who he is as a person, his journey to where he got from you know, junior college to University of Arizona to being drafted by Washington, finishing up with the Giants, underdogs in the Super Bowl, having to prepare, knowing that you're facing maybe the best offensive team ever in the history of football and those Brady-led uh, Patriots and then overcoming those obstacles, mm -hmm. his journey from Long Beach, pop, all of that yeah. is why he's qualified for this job in his fingerprints are all over this locker room. The face of the franchise right now is Max Crosby, and I believe those two guys are tied to the hip. So yeah. if he doesn't get the job, it's going to be incredibly tough yeah. for to that coach that. to come in here and create that environment that exists because of Raider Nation really respects it. That's a great point. Man, and, and he gets the Raiders culture. Yeah. Yes. He really understands what being a Raider is, and I think that's important to not only ownership but the fan base. You know, it's one thing you don't do in football. Don't overthink. Don't overthink. He right here. Yeah. He right here. He in the backyard. You hear all the dudes come out. Everybody talking about how Antonio Pierce has this locker room. The hardest thing for a coach to do is win over a locker room. And Antonio Pierce did that in six weeks. Why? Because Antonio Pierce put that helmet on. Mm -hmm. Antonio Pierce laced them cleats up. Right, so he knows how to interact with these players. He knows what the players need. That's why you see the way they play football. They have not played football like this as Raiders in I don't know how long, even when they went to the playoffs. Uh, Derek Carr, second year in the league with, with my man Del Rio. The team ain't looked the like this. The defense wasn't the dogged like this. effort was not like defense this. Defense wasn't giving up just 14 this points a game. This is truly, truly Raiders yeah, football that Antonio Pierce has brought back. And, man, if he ain't the one, it's going to be some attitude. Be some <laughs> All right, well, we talk about dog know. mentality. Speaking about dog mentality, let's uh, next we have Max Cross. Look, Max is yeah, ready. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's got the stuff. I don't know why stove. we ain't got none up here, man. <laughs> we need to get some of that. He's next on Raiders Game Day. Raiders Game Day is brought to you by America First Credit Union, the official credit union of the Las Vegas Raiders. Allegiant, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Low fares, non-stop flights, book now only at Allegiant.com. Cox, proud partner of the Las Vegas Raiders. Coors Light, an official beer of Raider Nation. Made to chill. 2023 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. Welcome back. The Raiders win the finale 27-14 over the Broncos. And Max Crosby is here to talk about it. Max, wh hey, why not stay on brand? I mean, this has been the look all year. So I imagine that uh, you probably have a cigar in your hand. But it is a celebration. <laughs> I know it is not the, the season overall that you guys wanted. But you learned so much about yourselves over the course of the season and all of the challenges. Walking away with this win, how do you walk away with your head, heads up? Um, you know, we talked about it all week. You know, it was a, at the end of the day, it was a tough, you know, a tough locker room environment after we lost to the Colts. You know, we were super upset, but at the end of the day, um, we had to show up and finish the season the right way, playing a divisional opponent like Denver. Um, every time we play them, uh, it's personal. So we got to, you know, dominate in the division. Um, I think we were 4-2 this year, and we just got to find ways to keep improving. So I feel like we got something special, you know, building right now. We just got to keep it, you know, keep it going in that direction. Max, speaking of that building, man, there's going to be some question marks going into this offseason, especially around the head coach. You know, since Antonio yep. Pierce has took over, man, you guys have looked like a totally different football team, man. What would it mean to you and the guys in the locker room to be able to keep Antonio Pierce around for next year? Yeah, you know, it's unanimous. Everybody wants him back. Um, I feel like we've done more than enough to prove that um, we, we built something special. It's not just a fluke. 
Um, every time we've gone out there, regardless of the, you know, the end result, um, every game has been super, uh, super competitive and we've, you know, taken a lot of steps in the right direction. So you just feel us out there. Everyone's flying around. The energy is, you know, contagious. And uh, that's something that um, it's hard to come across. And when you have a guy like AP that everyone respects unanimously, um, that's the result you get. So, um, you know, we just got to keep building in that direction and, you know, bring him home. Yeah, Max, uh, defensively, you guys finished this last half of the season off. It's spectacular. Talk to us a little bit about your relationship with Patrick Graham and what he means to this defense. Yeah, Pat's been incredible. You know, we talk all the time. Um, our relationship, you know, me and him has is, is, is been incredible. He's been awesome to the all to you know to all the guys and he even talked about it this offseason about improving as a coach improving as a as a leader and he's done that every single day he's been intentional about that and he's been awesome you know he's he's helped us in a ton of ways he's a brilliant you know obviously a brilliant coach but um he's become a leader of men and that's uh you know it's it's hats off to him you know i love pat um and it's just it's awesome what we built in such a short time it's fitting that this defensive line ends the season with a five sack game mm. and i know you get a lot of attention max but I know you're also very quick to point out the other guys. Why don't you shout out some of the guys that you really saw grow and that we should be excited for for next year? Yeah, I mean, I could start with, you know, Malcolm Coons, Adam Butler, Tyree Wilson, freaking John Jenkins having his best year of his career at age 34. Um, I mean, I could go on and on. J-Rob has stepped in and done a lot of great things. Um, even Matthew Butler getting in there today, doing some awesome things is just, you know, it's a testament to all the guys. Bilal Nichols, um, I can go on and on and on. But I got so much love for this group. You know, we have a tight-knit um, tight knit group. We do everything together. We spend every single day together. Thursday nights, we go to dinner um, every single every single week. And uh, it translates to the field. So when you got a, a bunch of guys out there trusting each other and, and flying around, you know, that's the results you get. So um, it's been an incredible year, man. And I just, I, I love those guys. What was Coach Antonio Pierce's message to you guys going into this last game, man? Because, you know, you and the Broncos both, you know, out of the playoffs, but you guys look like you was playing to get into playoffs. That's how the energy and the effort looked from, from your guys' standpoint from playing. What was kind of his message all week um, going into this game? Yeah, you know, for us, uh, it's about how you finish. Um, every single week is a new challenge, and we've been battling. Every, every guy's dealing with something. Um, but we came together. We knew what the mission was, and we knew we were, you know, we had to leave um, this season with a big stamp on it. And uh, I feel like that's exactly what we did. Um, it's a testament to all the guys. You know, we, the energy was incredible all week in practice. Everyone was flying around, having fun, enjoying ourselves. And, uh, you know, it was bittersweet, you know, at the end of the day. But um, I love this locker room, man. I love the coaches. I love the players. Um, and I just love, you know, how far we've come in such a, such a short time. Uh, Max, you're the face of this proud franchise. What is the 2020 2021 Max Crosby saying uh, to the Max of today? Um, you know, I, I talk about it all the time, but, uh, you know, the biggest, my biggest fear is being the same guy I am right now um, that I am, you know, next year. So for me, it's uh, about regrouping, getting with my team, getting with everybody involved in my training, my nutrition from every single aspect. Um, and just finding that 1% in every single way so I can take another huge leap next year. So um, every single year I'm focused on improvement, um, and that's what I plan on doing, and that's you know what I'm going to bring next year is be the best version of myself um, and just continue going uh, the trajectory you know, I, I plan on going. Well, Max, congratulations on not only this win, but the way you were able as a leader to keep this team together and fight until the very end, and we can't wait to see what you guys do in 2024. Hey, man, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you always. Thanks, Defensive Max. MVP. Mm. Give it to him. There we go. Hey, Give it to him. <laughs> Give it to him now. Hey, man. Stop playing. <laughs> appreciate it. All right. Yeah. I tell you, that man deserves it for sure. And if you look at what the Raiders defense did under Antonio Pierce in the nine games that he took over, 15.7 points <laughs> a game. Yeah. That is championship caliber is. defense. You know that. You've been a game. part of that's, some great defenses. That's re and it's the energy. You know, all those defenses that uh, I was a part of that were good mm -hmm. had that type of energy. You know, yeah. you have four or five guys who are willing to sacrifice, you know, their endurance and whatever it needs to take to get the job done. We're fighting for each other. It's really about the respect of your teammates, the guys you spend time with. And I agree, those camaraderie nights yeah. that, you know, we started in 98, those things work.
know, right. when you're together all the time and you have a great understanding of what you're trying to accomplish, you know, as a team, as a player, as an individual, you share those stories and, and it makes you uh, just a, a great unit. And that's one thing that will never change defensively. Yeah. Yeah. If you have that kind of energy, you're going to be successful. 15 points a game. You know what that means? Mm -hmm. That means they are flying to the ball. Yep. That means they care about each other. That means they tackling people. Yeah. If you really think about since Antonio Pierce took over, it wasn't a lot of missed tackles now. That's right. Them boys was hitting and running and tackling. It's 13 men to the ball, only 11 on the field. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> That's true. All right, we're going to take a break here on Raiders Game Day. And when we come back, we're going to hear from, from Antonio Pierce. What did he say to the players after the win? We're going inside the locker room on Raiders Game Day. If the Raiders get the win. We've been talking about it for a while. Captains, everybody hit on this week, man. We talked about team. We talked about doing it for one another, playing for one another, playing the game the right way. Passion, accountability, having fun. Tom hit on it. Probably best thing anybody's ever hit on it before. Trust. Trust. Trust in one another, man. Trust in the coaches, trust in each other, trust in yourself, trust in the process, and believing, and believing. And then doing it together, man. Doing it together. With all the doubters and all the stuff they've been talking about, don't matter. It's okay. We don't want to be liked. We want to be respected. Mm. 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 We don't want to be liked. We want to be respected. And we've earned our respect. Mm. We was close. We didn't get into the P word, but it's there. Just remember what Max, you said and I said. The last and the pressure. How do we end that game? Victory formation. Victory goddamn formation. Victory goddamn formation, man. This is what we said we wanted to do. You guys said we wanted to do. You did it. We did it. Let's enjoy it. There's no need to rush out of here tonight. There ain't no need to rush out of here tonight. All right, we good. We can take time. <laughs> Seven o'clock. We got to push it back. Eight o'clock tomorrow will be eight o'clock. Make sure we take care of each other tonight. Love each other tonight. Love one another, man. And just remember this moment. And we'll get it again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, we'll get it again. We'll run this back. You guys earned it, man. Much respect. Oh, my Lord, we got chills up in here. And look at that. This defense, 19 yep. and a half points allowed in 2023. Not as that just impressive, but the 15.7 points allowed under Antonio Pierce is even more impressive. And hats off to Patrick Graham for really getting this defense on track. That is the fewest points per game allowed by a Raiders defense uh, since 2000, the third fewest there in 2023. Man, is that impressive? Or what? And to see Charles Woodson there, and and to see Marcus Allen, and yeah, to see these Raiders yeah. great, it yeah. really I mean, you really feel like they became family. As he said, they earned respect, and they did something. They really turned around a season that was not in a good place. And other good things happened, like young players like Zamir White, mm. who in the last four games had an opportunity to step in for Josh Jacobs. And I'll tell you, if you want to look to the future and you want to build a playoff team, you need a top defense and you need a run game. Yeah. And now knowing that they could bring Josh Jacobs back if they wanted to, they could franchise him again or give him a long-term deal. But they have Zamir White as well. And that's just icing on the cake. This guy had 121 yards today. What a performance. Yeah. Go ahead, JJ. The young fella went to work today. And this is this and these are proud moments right here, too, because when you have a really good football coach, and I believe Antonio Pierce has showed us he's a really good football coach, you get the best out of every player on your football team. Not just on the defensive side of the ball, but on the offensive side of the ball as well. He came out from day one and said, I know what to do, get my playmakers the ball. But he has these young fellas balling out, making plays on both sides of the ball, offense and defense. You see guys like Jack Jones, Amik, you see these dudes stepping up, making big time plays. But Zamir White, I'm telling you, man, if we are able to sign Josh Jacobs, we have a two-headed monster, monster at the running back. And that's what you want, and that's what's been be working. Fresh. The bell cow days in the NFL are over. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, really having that committee can help 
But look at what he did in the last four weeks, last four games of the season. Since week 15, his first start this season, he's the third best rusher yeah, in the, the NFL. Yeah, the most important thing a coach can do is develop your players and your staff. Once you get the players in, I'm not sure if you're, you know, in that process or not. But once you get a guy, you develop him. Every single young player has developed. You know, we talk about White, Zeus. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's gotten better, much yeah. better, yeah. as the course of the season has gone on. Usually, and Antonio said this before, usually at this time, the rookies and the young players are going downhill. Yeah. You know, they're trying to save them, trying to bring veterans in. This football team, the last six weeks, yeah. the young players have been getting better. Mm -hmm. The process, the study, the Trey preparation. Trey Tucker uh, yes, is one everyone. of them. Well. Malcolm Coons, like the young defensive players. Yeah. That's all about coaching, yeah. right? That's all about coaching. It's not just kind of turn the film on. It's about these guys in practice mm -hmm. having an understanding yeah. of what you're trying to accomplish. AP has done a great job of giving his coaches that authority yeah. to coach their way in the best way for these young players. And you know so what? Congratulate um, them. If you my guy, Mark Davis, and you was in that locker room right now, you think Who's he got goosebumps? He in got there. goosebumps, and there's no way. What's, what's, my, what's my camera? This is my camera? This is my camera? <laughs> That's your camera That's over my, there, this JJ. My camera? Yeah, there you go. There is no way <laughs> that you let <laughs> AP Antonio Pierce go. We all had goosebumps up here. See, Wood look like he ready to buckle up his helmet. <laughs> I'm ready to buckle up my helmet. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, gosh, Leash. Antonio Pierce, great job, man. Yeah, good job. job. And, you know, a lot of big decisions to be made yep. over the next, you know, 48 hours to a week. We're going to have a lot of news in the NFL, not just for AP, but for other coaches as well. All right, as we take a break on Raiders game day, when we come back, it's been a fun season of breakdowns by JJ and EA. We're going to have the best from both of them coming up next on Raiders game day as we celebrate the Raiders win over the Broncos. This segment of Raiders game day has been brought to you by Twitch. Watch, discover, join in. Hi, I'm Riley Berhe and I go to Centennial and I play uh, receiver. I did NJHS in middle school, so we did a lot of service projects and we did like, we helped out for like high schools and stuff like that. I love like getting to meet new people and it's like really fun to hang out and like experience what they experience and like you get to see a lot of new things and try a lot of new things that you haven't done before. So it's really cool to do that stuff. Everybody needs like some type of help and I would love to give help back to my community as much as they help me and all the stuff that I do. Thank you Intermountain Health for giving me this opportunity to, and I'm so excited to represent you guys. Go Raiders. Welcome back to Raiders game day as the Raiders are trickling out of Allegiant Stadium with a win over the Broncos. We take a moment to look back mm -hmm. at some of the fun that we've had on the show. And we thank you guys oh, for watching Raiders game day yeah, every yeah. single week. And we have two analysts, one great defensive player, one great uh -huh. offensive player, one with a screw go. loose, one's yeah. a little more stable, yeah. but they made a good pair. <laughs> and here's a look back at some of the greatest breakdowns from JJ and oh, EA this year. I love it. <laughs> We got a bunch situation. Usually on bunch, you want to communicate with your cornerbacks so you don't get in a pick situation and then leave Keenan Allen wide open. Because I know you're at home saying, no man, why is this dude wide open yeah. after a monster week? But you see here, it was a natural pick. My coach always told me the linebackers are the tacklers. Yeah. So you know what? Block them. Right? Yeah. Let the corners that be is. the ones to come up and tackle and leave the running back the corners and yep. the safeties. This is a safety. Lead that one to Josh Jacobs. You, you block the much, You can't get much downhill than that. The Raiders not only played with a renewed energy after a very emotional week, they covered the basics. Football 101. They won the turnover battle and they ran the football. To talk more about it, let's go over to EA and JJ. I'll tell you, Amber, Ooh. that turnover energy, battle is what's about. It's about here. The coach, Bobo, Bobo said we're going five wide on y'all. We go five wide. Look at the middle of the field. When you go five wide, you know you're gonna get. What are they doing? What are they doing? Check. Or you are going to doing? get man. Watch this man right here. His name is Jacoby. Yeah, I gotta go. Jacoby Myers. Hey, we call that oh. barbecue chicken. You need to continue to see this. Strip that top arm. 
Man, and if we can get yeah. this on the other side of Max Crosby, man, good luck. And that's, man, that's what we're looking luck. for right Absolutely. there, right? Yep. Really important to be in the right position so you can make the play if the quarterback makes a mistake. Here we're going to roll it. As you see, center field safety, 2-5 in the hole. Oh. Once this pocket breaks down, yep. he's not really a mobile quarterback. So you want to move with the quarterback and tips it over, tips throws it JJ. Over those. We got and a hat on. Oh, yes, they do. They come in yes, bunches. They do. Well, you do know defense is cool. EA is cool. <laughs> but if you don't score points, you don't win. Point blank period in today. We put up 60 trillion <laughs> things on these boys. But let's start it off right here. I love it. Bo, offensive coordinator, aggressive. You put trips to the right. You have to be able to account for all three receivers. You got your speedster, Trey Tucker, in the slot, running away. But look at the safety. Goes over here to numero uno, one seven, <laughs> and you got one on one. And Derwin James cannot keep up with the young fella. He told you he the fastest on the Raiders. Derwin James didn't know that. Not awesome only that, like job. I always tell you, EA. No, I know you're about to say. The receivers are not blocking not down the field. <laughs> it's not an explosive game. Look at Jacoby Myers yeah. down the field blocking. We know a guy, 87, right? He has to be the focal point of our defense, particularly in zone. So we're going to triangle here. Yeah. And what you have to do is every person that triangle have to know where Kelsey is at all times. You have to almost man to man. You can't have your eyes in the backfield. Hobbs got to do a better job of squeezing that ball, forcing him to throw the ball to someone else coming into this football game. It doesn't matter. Just don't let this guy beat you. Mad Max is playing at a very, very high level. Yeah. Defensive player of the year. That's and right. We, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Back to Amber. <laughs> Raiders got it going. Yep. Bobo got it going. Bobo calling a good game. Taking stupid in the locker room. Everybody going dumb out here. And so is the Raiders. That's back to back W's. Back to you, Amber. And then look, I mean, this is a DB that he's running away from, putting a move on. I got to go. That's big time. If we can continue to get our tight ends involved like this, we're going be all right. The only thing <laughs> what? is I got to get him right on his celebration because this <laughs> No, we need. You got to follow no, through, right? No, we need something like that. So we gonna go. <laughs> I don't understand what he's saying 99% of the time, but I like it. I still don't know what taking stupid or getting stupid is. It's a Bay Area thing. It's a Bay Area thing. But I think you guys, I think you guys figured out which one was the more stable of the two that I was referring to. All right, we're gonna take a break here on Raiders Game Day. When we come back, we're gonna take you through the top 10 plays of the Raiders 2023 season. Max is in a few of them. Mm. This segment of Raiders Game Day has been brought to you by America First Credit Union, the official credit union of the Las Vegas Raiders. Back the Raiders in the 2023 season with a win 27 14 over the Broncos. But this season gave us no shortage mm -hmm. of some top plays, and we go through the top 10 plays Big of the time. season with you now. Let's start off with number 10. All right, this is here week we go. Six against the Patriots. <laughs> oh, yeah. Max Crosby and here the I come. Niggles. Huh? Woo! Game over. Game, Safety. Time. Game over. 152 left in the game, the safety, and they say, hey, like, Mac do they, Jones. Do they have, like, a uh, stat for sacks in crucial times of the game? Because that, I mean, he does this That's kind of stuff all the time, all the right? Time. That should count as two. It should. At the it right should. time. Count as two. Yeah. That's a big time play right there That's, by man, Max. Yeah, yeah this is our That's house. Right. Yep, That's right. <laughs> Close it out. And the Raiders went up 21-17. I love uh, that. There you thing. go, That's nine. Some primal stuff right there. Week nine against the uh -oh. Jets. Uh oh. Michael in Mayer. In the, in the pocket. The big boy. Oh, head oh, oh, down oh, with his oh, first oh, touchdown over oh, Jets safety Jordan man. Whitehead. He thought he had one too. Ooh. Head topper. That is yeah. nice. He Big Mike. We missed him the last two weeks. I can't like wait that. to see we more of him next oh, year. I, know. I cannot him. wait. That is one thing to be very excited about That's right. in 2024. Yeah. The Raiders won that game, by the way. 16-12. Week 8 against the... I'm sorry, week 16 against the Chiefs. Chris Boone Day. There goes the big boy. Hey, big dog touchdowns is always the best touchdowns. Nichols. Catch him, Sorry. Scoop and score. Get out the way. Scoop and score. Look at big dog pick his knees up. Yeah, watch the touchdown. 
Oh, yeah, oh, 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 yeah. Watch out, young fella. What a great win I'll that was. That was the signature win for Antonio Pierce's resume yes. that he talks about on the grass. Let's that go to was. number seven. Number seven. Week 15 against the Chargers. Here's Jacoby Myers uh -oh. throws it to yeah. Devontae Adams in the blowout win over the Chargers. You throw to me, I throw to you. This equal touchdown. That's big time play right there. It's all right, Spiral. All right. Right. The but the kid, watch him just yank yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Like, give me that ball. Yeah, that's a rebound. It's a rebound. Oh. They only put up 63 points yeah. that game. 60. <laughs> that, was just, that was just six. 60. Uh, uh, 60. Tree of them things. Yeah, once <laughs> you go over 60, it becomes a tree. <laughs> it loses the tree, R. Tree. 60 yeah, the tree R's drop. Good creativity right there. Yep, yep. And Good what a great year Jacoby Myers has had. Yes, Number yes. six, Number week six. five against the Packers, the Raiders. Oh, I see you with the jump cut and the stiffy. The Costco hoodie. Look at Young's play. The Costco hoodie. Uh -oh. Robert Spillane, by the way, had two interceptions. Yeah, give me that uh, there's too. There's the other one. Oh, tips and overthrows. <laughs> Let's get is. it. Let's get it. He tried to climb out of that. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Uh. And then finished it at the end. Big. Yeah, he came up big. <laughs> Closed it down with the yeah. interception. Yeah, he can't even get up to celebrate. Can't even get up. He got that ball though. <laughs> That's right. Number five, week twelve at the Chiefs. Can't do it without Josh Jacobs. Okay. What are we talking hit it. about? Hit it. Hit it, Josh. Hit it. 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 Hit yeah. Right Don't forget well. about that man. I know that's Samir just, White uh, is looking good. Josh Do not forget about that man. He is special. We need vision. that two-headed monster. Josh is one of the best backs rolling. in the National Football League. This here is different. Look at that. Five-yard run oh, and two man. 80 yard run. Josh can do that anytime. Yeah, that's that is that explosive and dynamic. Ooh. Look forward to seeing him get healthy yeah. Yeah, he said, in this offseason. <laughs> Just give me the ball, he said. That's what I do. That's what he give said. Just ball. give it to me and I'll make it happen. Right. Number four, Devontae Adams. Week three against the Steelers. Fourth and one, and Jimmy Garoppolo finds him. They only need one yard. That's it. Yeah. They only need one. They got 32 yeah, and a we'll touchdown. We'll take though. it. Here we go. Oh. Week 10 at the Jets. Oh, give me that. One, one hand. hand one hand. One. I only need one. Let's take another look. You know what they call that? Sticky, yicky, <laughs> yicky. <laughs> I don't think that's what <laughs> sticky, yicky, yicky is. But sticky, week 17, oh, that's close. Look, another hey, one. That thing was on that helmet. Helmet catch on the hey, face. Bicep, helmet, hands. All just equal just the same. That's, and that's just being the bigger man. That's, that's just outmanning that's just another different. man right there. We start right talking there. about catching under duress in different. traffic, 50-50 <laughs> that. balls. That's what it's all about right <laughs> here. Contested just balls. It, yeah, just throw it up to him. Just throw it He'll up, make it know? happen. He'll make it happen. I'll take you there. Lucky to have him. Number yes, three, we week are. 15 against the Chargers, Trey Tucker, the Trey. rookie. Oh, Not just a, okay. one, but he had Two touchdowns. The first quarter, 30 yards. Hey, that's a ball right there, though. That thing coming out spinning the right way now. Speed kills. Wee. He has so much of it. And then watch this. Yeah, Remember this part? Know, huh? That's uh -oh. how you got that speed round up. up. Yeah. Wow. Simone Biles nails the landing. Yeah. yeah. That's an athlete. That boy floating. In Here we go in the second quarter. Yeah. 20 yeah. yards. <laughs> Look at it. It would have been 100 <laughs> yards if they wasn't in the red zone. They're lucky. <laughs> He's enjoying yeah. it too. He's another I'll one that ya. everybody should be excited about. Yes. He's only a rookie. Some Number two in the right top plays in 2023. Oh my John goodness. Jenkins. Remember Max Cross oh, brought oh, him up. Oh, big ball. Ball turn. I see ball. I get ball. I run. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He clocked about 6.5 miles per hour, but he got it. I just clocked it right now on my watch. I got seven. Look at Malcolm Coots. Oh, yeah. I got seven miles per hour. You got seven. I thought it was about 6.5, but we'll be generous because it was such a big play. He got there, though. Look at him get down on it, too. Oh, that's a great scoop. Knees up. That's a great scoop. Max is ready to block. Yeah, look at Max. Yeah, look at Everybody's excited. I love that our editor has to speed it up. And the number one number play one. of the 2023 season is Jack oh, Jones oh pick six. The house. And week 16, Ooh. he picks up Mahomes, returns it for a touchdown. Another look. This man had just become a Raider. Yeah. What an addition he has yeah, been. That, that, that's a great pick. Hold on, hold on. That uh, the other one. Yeah, though. we just the missed other one. No, no, no. Uh, J, 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 wait. Okay. I'm not okay. done yet. I knew. It is, okay. a, it is I, a one and a one A. I knew. And here comes oh, the one yeah. A. Look at this. Oh, oh, give me that. I knew that our producers was play. like that. Yeah. I knew our producers that was like that. I knew they wanted to forget this right here. Oh, 20, oh 20, my three. goodness. Hey, now. I threw this five yards behind the line of scrimmage, and you're playing left corner, man. How in the heck could Bill Belichick not figure out what to do with that man? Thank you. We're glad. We're glad that he couldn't. 
That's special. We're glad he is a Raider. Can't Gosh, wait for 2024 for it, Jack Jones. One, back he, with got, he got left it, side locked All right, down. we're going to take a break here on Raiders Game Day. When we come back, Allegiant Stadium will host Super Bowl. Coming up, we're going to talk about our Super Bowl picks huh. in Las Vegas. Raiders Game Day has been brought to you by Twitch. Watch, discover, join in. Credit One Bank, the official credit card of the Las Vegas Raiders. Modelo, a reward for those with a fighting spirit. The mark of a fighter, drink responsibly. Good. Thanks for being here. How are you? Listen, you guys, you know, we're, we're celebrating the fans today, yep. celebrating Raider Nation. Nobody represents this place better than you guys. Oh. Would you guys light the torch for me today? Yes. Heck for yeah. my father and honor my father. Yeah. Oh that's, my God. That's what we'd like you guys to do today. Black Hole always has your You back. guys got it up there, okay? Yes, sir. It'd be an honor for me to have you guys do it. Love you guys and what you guys represent. All right? Thank you. I know, well, I do too. You guys represent this nation unbelievably. There's nothing like it. There really is. There's nothing like this. And there is nobody more fitting to light the torch than Gorilla Rilla Violator, all of the best of the Black Hole and Raider Nation who stood by this team through the ups and downs. What a great moment yeah. for Mark Davis yeah. to give them the opportunity yeah. to light the That's torch. That, That's good It's stuff. the best fan base in all of sports, I have to say yep. that. All right, the Super Bowl will be right here at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. It's time for our Super Bowl picks. Ooh. Let's go with AFC first. Yep. AFC first. Let me I know, I know they're the number one seed, but oh, have you been seeing okay. the way those Ravens have been playing? No. Yep, yep. I'm going with the Ravens oh, and the AFC. AFC, first. I'm going AFC, AFC first. who are you going with? Who are you going with, Jay? Yeah, not yeah. see, <laughs> uh, man. I'm going Lamar Jackson. All right, Jackson all right. Into Baltimore. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jackson. Three, Lamar Jackson. three and a no. no. Oh, you oh, you're joking. I'm Black going out. with the Cleveland Browns. Oh, you know why? Yeah, you don't They're the only team that's going to beat the Ravens. No one else can beat the Ravens. Not. The Cleveland Browns and Joe Flacco Come going to the Super Bowl. Come on now. Come on. Yes, right. that's right. All right, let's go that's in the right. NFC. Body's let's go in the NFC. I can't pick the Cowboys. Uh, uh, the uh. Eagles are hey, horrible. Back up, back Sorry up. about your hey, Eagles. Back up. Ooh. Out. Come on now. I'm going oh, with the man. San Francisco. I know. San... I know Raider Nation. I know it hurts you, but uh, I'm going with the San Francisco 49ers. She just put a Niners thing. Yeah, she did. Show. She did. I she did. did. That is something. You asked for my football here. analysis. <laughs> you know. Football analysis. My brother I know from you. another mother, <laughs> oh, yeah. Mike McCarthy. Oh, oh and I'm I going would never. Ravens. I would never. Dallas Cowboys <laughs> in the Super Bowl. Oh, uh, we're gonna go. Who are you? Those 49ers. Okay, okay. Go the 49ers. See, you recognize good football when you see it. Go the 49ers. You guys. Yeah. The, the Browns is a yeah. horrible this. pick. Uh, this is an awesome. All right, guys. Man. We got to pick a winner. And you know I was born in Maryland. <laughs> you know I represent Baltimore. I'm from there. <laughs> right, So right. I got to pick that. Even though I, I think the 49ers are yeah. a great team. Yeah. I think yeah. it's Lamar's time. Yeah. I right. think it's Lamar's you, time you, to get it. You know, I like so that I'm pick. Going. I like that pick, Amber. Uh, I'm just going to let the world know right now. If EA Super Bowl is right, I ain't watching. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't watching. But my Super Bowl I'm game, calling you. I I'm got gonna... Lamar Action Jackson as well. I mean, that defense, Lamar, he's going to get that good. second yeah, MVP yeah. trophy. They ball, and I'm taking the Yeah, rest. I think maybe the most okay. talented team in the National Football League will probably end up winning the Super Bowl. And, uh, I know. 49ers are probably going to get set, it done. Set that right there. Uh, <laughs> set, set, no, set, that, set that on yours. We have to remember this. <laughs> We're going to remember this. Did you want to remember this? <laughs> That purple patio is going to be happening. They're not going to get that game against Baltimore tonight. They're not going to get there. You you didn't, they already played one. They already oh, played one. Oh, right, by the way, guys, check out the off-season dates. Mark your calendars. Not only is the Super Bowl right here in Vegas, I hope everybody has fun here in Vegas, but we got free agency starting Mark, uh, March 15th. Then the draft right now, the Raiders yep. sit at the 13th pick, uh, April 25th through the 27th, and the players report. Mid June, Mid June. For, for some OTAs and yeah. some mini camps, and so we can't wait Getting for better. that. But you know what, Raider Nation, thanks for joining us all year long. We are so proud to be the show that brought you a post game show every single day, and we're looking forward to next year. So much to build on, Raider Nation. 2024 be is looking up, but the Raiders ended oh, with a win over the Broncos for EA and JJ. I'm Amber. We'll see you next season.